In this part, we are going to look at the calculations. This is the data which has been provided to us and we look forward to generating some insights from the data. So uh, the calculations could be calculating average salary, maybe calculating the number of males in XYZ company or probably, you know, calculating the maximum of the salary. So calculations can be of various types. But before we do that, let us understand quickly the mathematical operators for which let's go to sheet two. In this sheet two here, it is enlisted the commonly used mathematical operators. The slash sign essentially denotes the division. The star sign here means multiply. The dash sign essentially means subtract. The plus sign would mean addition. So how are they used and how are they uh, used in the overall view of the formula? See, these division signs, multiplication signs, subtract and add, these signs are essentially found if you're using a standard keyboard. Uh, these will be on the right hand top corner near the num lock. So division, multiplication, subtract and addition, all of all these uh, you will find on the top right hand corner. However, if you're using a laptop, uh, you may find uh, these at different places. Uh, say for example, division, this is basically near the shift, but on the lower right hand corner, the multiplication sign is uh, along with eight. So if you have to use um, a multiplication sign, you have to simultaneously press shift and eight in order to activate multiplication. Subtract is essentially closer to the backspace on the left hand side. So, and likewise, the addition is the immediate next to the backspace. So this is how you know uh, you will find the mathematical operators. Now let us take a quick example to understand how these formulas are operated. So let us say there's are two numbers number one 10 and the second number is 5. So if I divide 10 by 5 it will be equal to 2. So uh, let us try to use Excel for the first time via these formulas. So the way it is written is you need to type equal to first and choose the cell E2 with your mouse. This is cell number E and this is 2. This would mean cell E2. This essentially means that you are selecting number 10. Now the next step would be to find where is the division sign. So you need to type this division sign from your keyboard. So that's what I'm doing here right now. So this means E2 divided by and choose 5 which is essentially in F2. So choosing these numbers can be done using your mouse. So once you have written this formula, the next thing that you will have to do, which you are doing for other cells as well, is just to press enter. So you will find that you have these answers E2 divided by F2 which is equal to 2. Likewise, let us use these same set of numbers for the other mathematical operators. Again, for the usage of formulas, I'll type equal to, this time E3 multiplied by F3. The multiplication sign, if you're using a regular keyboard, would be found on the right hand corner of your keyboard. And then press enter. So this is 10 multiplied by 5, this is equal to 50. Let us subtract 10 and 5. So subtracting 5 out of 10 would be 5. So let us do that using Excel. Again go back and press equal to. This time E4. Find the, where is the minus sign. Click it and choose F4 and press enter. Likewise perform the calculation for additions. Choose E5 plus F5, this will be equal to 15. So this is a very quick exercise or a revision for mathematical operators. Now let us go back to our case study and perform quick calculations with respect to our case study. So in this case study, let us do some quick calculations. As we see, these are the list of employees and what the data says is that monthly salaries available for each of the employees. So let us uh, calculate the annual salary. So I'll just label this here in cell G3, 
annual salary in dollars and the moment I do that as you may see monthly salary is not fully visible so again I'll go back and double click here so that it is fully visible now in order to calculate the annual salary I have to multiply this monthly salary by 12 so if you remember from our previous calculation exercise the first thing I may have to do is to press equal to this is F4 which is 2500 this is the salary of Bruce this multiplied by so we need to choose the multiplication sign and annual salary is basically monthly salary multiplied by 12 so you can manually input this number 12 in order to calculate the annual salary and you can press enter so this is the annual salary that is 30,000 US dollars for Bruce let us calculate the annual salary for Jacob this is again equal to F5 which is 4200 multiplied by 12 and enter this is 50,400 US dollars now you may like to do this for all 18 employees however there is a shortcut which you can use let's say if you have done a calculation within this table for a single entity say for example you have done this for Bruce and Jacob like here and as you can see there's a plus sign at the right hand bottom corner go back to the exercise which we had done on autofill and uh, you will remember that this is the thing which we used as shortcut to autofill the other cells so let us click this right hand bottom corner and see for yourself what happens now if you may notice all the other cells which are immediately below Jacob gets filled automatically now what has happened let's observe in the case of Melvin this is basically F6 multiplied by 12 which is Melvin's annual salary likewise let's check for Alice this is F20 multiplied by 12 so we note that these formulas are automatically taken if you use this autofill option as a plus sign 